guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a first impressions video on an eyeshadow palette. This palette here I did pick up from iMAT. I'm not exactly too sure what the name of the palette itself is called, but I do know it's by the brand Numeric Proof. But this is what the palette looks like here. There are 12 matte shades in this palette. This palette is all matte and each pan has 2 grams. So this whole thing has 24 grams of product, which I think is amazing. Now this palette isn't very neutral, but it isn't super colorful either. It just has a broad spectrum of colors. I haven't swatched this palette yet. I haven't touched this palette before. I just bought it and thought that it would be a good idea to put on first impressions because I've never heard anything about this palette. So yeah, if you'd like to see my first impressions on this palette, then just keep watching. I also do want to just quickly note that I did prime my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, I do that almost every time that I wear eyeshadow, so I thought that it was only natural for me to do that today. So bear that in mind that I do have an eye base on at the moment. So I'm just going to start off by using this shade here. And I'm going to apply that to my crease just as my transition color. I feel like this palette is lacking a middle tone shade. like. You kind of have your two light colors and then they go into medium shades. You don't really have a transition color, if that makes any sense. But let's see how this one goes. Oh, wow. That's very pigmented. It's a lot more gray than what I was expecting. I was expecting it more to be a brown gray. But this is definitely more of a true gray on my eye. But very pigmented and very blendable. I am noticing a little bit of fly up with these shadows, but nothing too intense. I think that color would go perfectly if you're planning on doing a smoky eye, like a traditional gray smoky eye. I think that color would be perfect. Um, I do want to put more brown into this look, so I'm going to add a little bit of this color here, which is directly above it. This is a very dark brown. And I'm just going to apply that to the crease. Oh wow, that's very pigmented. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with this light moire purple shade now, just to add a bit more warmth to the eye. I feel like these shadows, or at least the ones that I've used so far, are, are turning more cool toned on my eye, instead of staying true to colour, which is quite strange. I've never worked with shadows like that before. I'm going to guess that the red is going to stay very warm toned because it's a red. But so far, out of the three colors that I've used, they are all turning very cool toned. I'm going to take the mint green up here and I'm just going to apply it with my finger to my eye. Nicely pigmented. It's not super creamy, but it is definitely very pigmented. I'm now going to go in with a little bit of this maroon color up the top here. It's a super dark maroon. I'm going to apply that to the outer corner. These shadows aren't exactly blending all that well. Like the first one was okay, but now it's getting a little bit difficult to blend. I'm just going to highlight my brow bone using the white shade mixed with the shade next to it, which is more of an off tone or an off skin tone color. I really do like the highlight color in this palette, at least the two mixed together. I'm going to try and warm up the eye a little bit, so I'm going to go in with the orange shade because it's just screaming, use me. And yes, I've been using the same brush. I always do this. I don't know why. I actually really do like adding that orange shade. It's definitely warmed everything up a lot more. But it's still getting really hard to blend. Sorry, my camera cut out, so I don't really know where I stopped recording. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to apply a little bit of product to my lower lashes. So I'm going to start off with the purple shade or the mauve tone. And I'm going to apply that to more the middle of my eye. This works really nicely on the lower lashes. I feel like this palette might be good as like an additional palette, not more so a palette that you use on its own. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the green. I'm just going to put that on the inner part. Oh, wow, that's really dark. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the brown mixed with the gray. I'm going to take a little bit of the off-white color, so this one here on my finger. I'm just going to tap that more on the inner portion of the eye. 
Okay, I'm just going to use one last color. I want to use this purple shade up the top corner. I'm just going to apply that to my lower lashes as well and just see what it does. Okay, I feel like I'm going to stop right here with the eyeshadow. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go apply my fake eyelashes and then put on a little bit of my face makeup and then I'll come back and see if I need to add any more to the eye look. Okay guys, so I just got done doing the rest of my makeup. This is what the look looks like. I'm very happy with how it's turned out um, after I put on fake eyelashes and mascara. Very, very happy with how it's turned out. So I guess I'll share with you my overall opinions on the palette. Also, really quickly, I just want to show you what the swatches look like, but they do swatch very nicely. The texture of the shadows themselves are relatively dry, and they're not very creamy. They're definitely not powdery though, so I haven't experienced any fallout from these shadows, but they aren't creamy shadows by any means. Personally, I would say that the shadows are more on the dry side, similar to a MAC or Inglot matte eyeshadow. Um, that they're more dry in texture. However, I must say that I do find that these shadows are less blendable than MAC or Inglot, comparing them in terms of the dryness of the shadow. Don't get me wrong, I was still able to blend out the shadows, but it did take a lot more effort than what I am traditionally used to. Um, I do think this is a good palette if you are in the market for a matte eyeshadow palette and you don't have anything like this. It is okay, but it's definitely not, in my opinion, a be-all, end-all palette. And I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to really say about it. It's a nice palette, packaging's nice, color diversity is nice, but when push comes to shove, the texture of the shadows is not there for how much you're paying for the palette. If you find a color in here and you can't find it anywhere else that you really love, so for example this khaki color I am obsessed with, definitely go in store and give it a swatch because it's not a bad palette, it's just not a be all end all palette. And also I do want to mention I feel like your looks would be very limited in terms of how it would look on the eye purely based on the fact that there are only two light shades and then all the rest of the colors are relatively dark. Now if you have other eyeshadows that wouldn't be a problem because you can always use other textures and other tones of eyeshadows just to kind of create depth to the eye but if you were to only use this palette on its own I feel like you would just get very very dark looks out of it like the one that I've created today. I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to say. It's not a bad palette by any means but just the texture of it isn't justified in the price that um, it retails for. I did pick mine up at IMAT, so I did get a discount. I think I paid $55 or so for it, but I know that re like recommended retail price, in Australia at least, it's around $80 or $90, which I think is very expensive considering that the blendability of these shadows isn't the best, but bear in mind, it's not the worst either. So yeah, if you see it in store and you decide to pick it up, it's definitely not a bad palette, but it's not a be all end all palette. I hope that made sense and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.